Fine, Patrick Reed from the Adamus Principle. I mean, it just gets weirder by the minute. Um, unfortunately, the rise in COVID-19 has made the US election um, a backstory, basically. Let's not forget Tuesday is going to be big. But until then, it was firmly dollar higher risk off, and especially in the last few days, absolutely brutal, brutal sell-offs in uh, not just equities, but risk currencies, because at the initial Dow minus 1,000, FX wasn't really bothered. So let's look at some charts, some key charts and some key levels into the weekend, into next week. But first up, euro dollar. Here we have, look, Christine Lagarde promised something rather big in December. This made the all important level 116.85 crack. But like with most euro dollar price action, it's complicated. It's not straightforward, it's overlapping and it's slow. Okay, so you needed some patience there. Minor rally overnight, but we are really looking for this level to close below. If that does close below into next week, you're looking at 114.80 or 114.50 as the next target. That's some way away, you know, two odd big figures. So next chart. Okay, this is Aussie dollar on the daily. Now, this 70 is a, a, an absolute fortress. Talk of options down there. But really, for me, into the election, if we do get the blue wave, obviously, um, things are, you know, we are risk off at the moment. But if you do get this blue wave, you might see this go higher up through 71 to 72. Now, 72 is a very significant level for us at the Adamus Principle. Um, anywhere above this, we are wrong. Um, expect some sellers up there. But the key thing about uh, what the price has been doing before COVID-19 fears on further waves is um, a Biden blue wave, which basically means he'll take the presidency, the top seat, but also the Senate. And the Senate is key for additional fiscal. What's not been priced in, what's not been priced in is corporate tax. Um, anti-fossil fuels and, you know, um, a larger involvement and, and strengthening unions when that starts to, to creep into price. And it's not priced in right now. When that starts to creep in, you could be up for fading any blue wave rally. Next chart. OK, dollar yen. You know, it's got its own rules, its own help. I nearly don't really want to say more than that. But this 104 is key. If this cracks, you thought CAD yen was, was, was coming off, that will just be a warm-up act. All the yen crosses will be coming off hard if 104 cracks and closes below on the daily. But one thing I will say is dollar yen is, is pretty subdued. It, it, is, it is trending lower, but it's at a, at a small pace. But elections, it comes to life. It, it does come to life. Um, from 101 to 117, I think, uh, only four years ago with, with Donald Trump. So all eyes on dollar yen on Tuesday. Uh, next chart. So look, this doesn't really do it justice. Look at that spike around March. This is, you know, pure risk off. And you, the, it was a bit carnage. There was, uh, there was no stopping dollar CAD um, here. And I would just say if... Price, if risk still gets heavily sold on Monday, the, this could really definitely be testing 134, 88, maybe 136 and, and upwards. Really, really um, very, very volatile at the moment. But at the moment, you know, it, it is dollar buying risk off throughout most of G10. Um, all eyes on dollar CNH for, um, you know, previously it's been a torch to lead the way. Uh, in G10 dollar, but uh, not reliable. Uh, like anything, all of it works some of the time, or some of the time it, all of it works, or something like that. But uh, I'll leave you on that note. And my name is Patrick Reed from the Adamus Principle. Thank you. Bye.